So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today what we're going to be doing is installing Chrome OS Flex, which is a lightweight Chrome operating system that you can put on old PCs and Macs, actually. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll try to remember links in the description down below of anything I mentioned in this video. So first, a little history about uh, why I'm doing this today. So I have this old Chromebook. It's actually from 2014. So basically, the Chromebook OS was no longer supported on this device because it's basically 10 years old. And so uh, I'm not one to throw away stuff, so I wanted to make it work again. And so the first thing I did is I did a video about it, and that's how to install any OS on on a Chromebook, and I'll leave the link to that up here in the description. And so what I ended up putting on this was Xubuntu, which is a lightweight Ubuntu operating system, uh, and it worked fairly well. And so uh, recently, I just saw that Chrome OS Flex, uh, which is uh, basically the almost the same operating system as on this, uh, can be easily installed on other things. So uh, what I did is installed it on this, and lo and behold, it runs fine on this. So why Google stopped supporting this device, I have no idea. So that's where we started. So we got this working again. So my wife has a favorite computer, and it's this HP uh, Pavilion, I think it is. And there is no date on it, and I can't find any. There's no, there's no stickers or anything. And so I don't know how old that is, but it is dirty. You can see we got smudge all over the front and the screen is, you can see where the keyboard has been touching the screen and that's just my fingers going over it to do that. So because I'm a loving husband, I thought, what the heck, I'll clean this up for my wife, get a new OS on it so it actually is usable again and see if I can get everything working on it. So the one thing I don't know is, you see on the side here, this is actually a DVD drive. So let's see what we can do. So first, actually, we will clean this off. So what I use is some rubbing alcohol, and I don't have any uh, cotton balls, so we're just going to use these fiber cloths. Okay, so we got most of the schmutz off, so it's pretty clean now. So next what we're gonna do is actually install, or actually I should see you, show you how this works first and so why we need to update it. So the first thing is this computer does not run without being plugged in because the battery is completely dead. So let's start it up. And so this computer is very slow, so I might cut out how long it takes to start up. So I've pressed the button now. Okay, there we go. Oh, this, I, I'm sorry, you can't see this, but so I'm recording uh, externally in front of me and the internal monitor, it's very bleached white, so not very many colors. I was surprised at how colorful the picture is. Uh, on my monitor coming from this computer. So, okay, so she's got a bunch of random stuff on here, but I already know that it isn't important. So let's just see if we can find the date of this computer. And so nothing specific here, HP, random HP laptop. Uh, it is running Windows 10 because it does not have the Windows 11 specs. And I don't remember what it came with, if it came with Windows 10 or not, but that's about it. So let's do the next step. We need to get a, so we need to get a USB drive and it has to be at least eight gigabytes. 
So we need to head over to Google Chrome OS Flex. You can look at it if you want. So the first thing we need to do is actually download a Chrome extension. So how you would do that is click on the three dots, go down to Extensions, visit Chrome Web Store. And then we need to search for Chromebook Utility Chromebook. Then we need to search for a Chromebook Recovery Utility. And then we need to add this to Chrome and add extension. Yeah, for some reason, Google did this a really weird way, but they have their own installer that you have to use the Chrome web browser for. So you have to install the Chrome web browser to actually get the Chrome OS Flex software. So there you have it. So now we need to take our uh, USB, plug that into our computer, and then go up to our extensions in the top corner here, click on Chromebook Recovery Utility, get started, and then select a model. And so what you need to do is go down to Google Chrome OS Flex, and then Google Chrome OS Flex, then hit Continue, select your USB drive, and then hit continue, and then create now. And so this process will take quite a bit of time. So the first thing that it's gonna be doing, so it's going to be downloading the image, then it will check the image, and then it will write the image. Uh, while it's doing that, I just thought I'd show you the battery on this computer. So the battery is zero. So this battery in this computer is completely dead. Okay, as you can see here, uh, once it got to this point, it was at 25 minutes, but I actually had to restart the process because it got frozen when it started to uh, do this part about writing for some reason. So, so maybe it takes an hour to do this. Well, that took forever. So that took over an hour. So let's take a look. So we have our media is done. So we'll click done. Then we're going to pull that out. And so now we can stick it in our computer. And so I've just turned the computer off. And so now what we're going to do is boot into the BIOS. And we are going to boot into the USB drive and install Chrome OS Flex. And so I don't know which key enters the BIOS. Okay, actually that's perfect. So I'm not able to record this part, but we can see it got to the boot screen and, or the boot option screen, I should say. So we want F9, which is there is boot option devices. And we're going to pick the first one, which is boot from a USB drive. So that has started the boot process. And here you can see it says Chrome OS Flex. So here's our opening screen. Okay, so next we'll click on Get Started. And we're going to install, and then Next, and Install, and Install. And here's another 20 minutes of waiting. So next what you'll do is connect to Wi-Fi, log in with your Google password, and then make a local password. So let's take a look at the desktop. So over on the left, we have our apps, and we can go up and down for those. Things like settings, uh, your different apps there. There's also underneath here are the most used apps like Chrome, uh, calendar, messages, YouTube, and then there's also a files app. And so basically this one is you can do your Google Drive, but you can actually also have local files. And you can take things like USB drives and attach them. And then they show up here on the left hand side. And you can open those. And you can see this has PFSense on it. Now to eject them, you just press the dot there, and then you can pull it out. Finally, over where the date and time is, so on, under the time, we have our Wi-Fi. 
screen capture, do not disturb screen, screen casting, and then we have sound and display brightness. And underneath here it has the settings and I believe this is the battery. And then here we can turn the computer on and off. And then for the dates we can set a time and day. So that is Chrome OS, so super simple, easy to use, great for old hardware like this. Uh, I'm going to be trying this out on my wife now. We'll see if it gets the Sprouse approval factor. Yeah. So basically my wife love it. She has her old computer back. It's clean for one thing, but also she says that the new operating system is very snappy and she's going to see if she can write things on it. That's her big worry. So that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments about this video, put them down in the description. Or if you'd like me to see me to cover other topics, put that down in the description too. You take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.